Hi, this is Louise from Sleeper. I have got in here a list of random questions, which I'm gonna pick out and try and answer. Here we go, right. This one says, looking back, would you change anything in your career if you could? Um, I think probably I just wouldn't have left it so long to come back and do an album because we have loved it so much. So um, we would have done it much sooner had we known how much fun it was gonna be. How do you find writing and recording a new album after such a long time away from music? Well, um, here's what's weird about it. I think, I think we didn't know whether we were gonna be able to do it again, how we were gonna work together as a band. And I didn't know if I could write songs still, so I didn't know if I could write a melody. Um, and it always starts in the same way, so you're just gonna sit with the guitar, and you're sort of kind of strumming around, see if you can find something. And good songs happen really fast. So you can write a song in an afternoon and it's a huge buzz when that happens. So, you know, it's kind of the same as it's always been. And it was brilliant. What do you want people to take away from the new album? Um, well, I just, you know, I just want people to um, enjoy it. Um, it's got a lot of truth in it, I think, when I was trying to write the lyrics for it, the most important thing was that it represented how I was feeling about the world, about my life, about growing up, growing older, um, and all those things. And I hope that it's kind of a truthful album, and I hope that it kind of just makes people feel something. Um, and it's got the same energy, I think, that we've always had. Hopefully, yeah. What's the most important song on the new album? Um, I don't know. They all they all have sort of different a different sort of resonance, I suppose. Um, I really love "Look at You Now" because it's the first one that we put out, and it's our probably the most sort of political song we've ever written, and it's about how we feel about people sort of being sort of attracted to extreme views more than ever now, and that sort of rational debate has kind of disappeared. Um, but I also love a song called More Than I Do, which is about a couple that are getting divorced. And I still like writing character songs where things are filtered through, yeah, filtered through characters. And I love listening to that song. I think it's kind of, it's quite deceptive. So it starts off really quiet and mellow and it just gets really vicious at the end. And I like singing the vicious bit. That really appeals to me. And one more. This one says, what are the main differences to being in a band now compared to the 90s? Well, honestly, we're just really enjoying it. We're just enjoying it more than we ever have. And it feels like a real sort of a real privilege to come back and do this again after so long. And the reaction has been amazing and the pleasure of being on stage and performing. Um, and there's a camaraderie you get in the crowd now and all of that has just been lovely. So I think there's probably more joy in it now than there ever has been.